Hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? It's Robert Welkner here of CoinOp TV. Gonna do some gameplay commentary of Skylanders Spyro's Adventure on the Xbox 360. This is part of a series of walkthrough Let's Play commentaries going through the entire game. So this may be like video like 30 or 40 or something. I've kind of lost track, but I want to give you guys all a shout out and say thanks a bunch for all your support. To all you fo fellow Portal Masters out there, hitting that like button, leaving a bunch of comments. Let me know what some of your favorite characters are. We also have the Skylanders 101 series that breaks the characters down individually. And um, I'm going to get this uh, gameplay going on with Dragon's Peak. It's brand new, hot off the presses, hot off the shelves, I guess. And uh, it's an expansion pack that comes with Sunburn, who I'm walking around with here. i show you some breathing fire. Rah! Um, I've also got a little Phoenix kind of bursting flame gag going there. And a little teleportation. Let me show you a little of the stats. Sunbirds of Fire element. I just kind of leveled him up a little bit so that when I got into the gameplay he wasn't a he wasn't a total noob. He had a little powers, but I'm digging his animation. I mean look at his tail kinda of waving around through there. Looks pretty intense. I think Sunburn is a he, but if it's a she, I apologize in advance. Um, it's been a busy week with gaming and everything but anyway the expansion is Dragon's Peak it also comes with Sparks Dragonfly and Wing Boots the boots let you go a little faster and then Sparks Dragonfly is a little guy that will follow you around and shoot at people and I'll try and use those if I can during the level so with that let me go ahead and put the castle on the portal of power here the Dragon's Peak castle and we'll check out that animation greetings young portal master the dragons, most ancient and wondrous, need your help. Go with the Dragon Knight Flavius to the island of Skalos. Help him free his king from the clutches of the undead dragon Vathic and restore him to the throne. Quickly, sound the horn and Flavius will carry you into the skies and off to the dragon's peak. All right, awesome. So I've got a new level now that I can explore. I guess the question is now where where did it put the dragon's peak? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. If I had to guess, I would say that they added it over here. Aha! Got it in this little area over here. There's the uh, ice, the Empire of Ice expansion down there. Here's the Dragon's Peak. All right, let's give it a whirl. That's a long flight, but I'd fly across the universe to help my king. My name is Flavius, and I serve the great King Ramses, the greatest leader Dragon's Peak has ever known. He ruled these lands for centuries, and while he did, everything was great. Peace, harmony, you name it. Until one horrible day when I... I convinced King Ramses to go flying with me. All I wanted to do was take him out. You know, let him stretch his wings. But when I did, that's when he came. King Ramses' horrible brother, Vathek. Oh, he is evil. A horrible dragon who always wanted to be king himself. And while Ramses was gone, Vathek sat on the dragon's throne. You see, that's where all the power is. He who sits on the dragon's throne becomes ruler of all Dragon's Peak. It's just the way things work. Hey. 
And with the power of the dragon's throne, Gothic is now our king and has cursed poor Ramses. And it's all my fault. Oh, brave Skylander, won't you help us? Be careful over here, my friend. I'm sure that evil bathic has got some sneaky tricks up his sleeve. Alright, well that was a pretty epic introduction there to the level. Flavius there. Uh, let's fire, fire away. Get some collectible goodies here. I had to run over and get some more Skylanders to add to my pile. Off. I just realized I didn't have a magic or water element in my stash. I want to definitely go through the entire level as much as I can. Alright, well we've seen these bad guys before, but I have a feeling we'll see some new some new bad guys as we come. Sunburn's got this cool little teleportation thing where uh, uh, pop through and and when uh, when he um, teleports and comes back. Oh no, it's the guy with a bomb. Boom. <laughs> Boom fiend. Right, man, there's like a lot of bad guys on the screen here. I can't really get into like the commentary of talking about what the heck is going on. Let me flame through some of these guys. Again, let me just mention this is my first time playing through this level. A lot of the other levels that I did was the second time playing through so I had a little a little better idea what to expect and I can kind of figure out when a good time to talk and when a good time to play was. Oh no! Guy exploded with a bomb and then hurt me. So you can just hold down the A button on the Xbox controller to uh, shoot out the flame. As you can see, the flame damage isn't terribly powerful. That's kind of like the the first the first attack. Second attack is this teleporting thing where I I'll go across and kind of blink forward, and then when I rematerialize, I actually cause a little damage along the way. And then this is a third attack that I have. I'm a Phoenix, Phoenix Fire. I think that's pretty cool because I feel I think I'm indestructible and I can kind of fly a little quickly, and get everything out. I'm digging the uh, the looks, the scenery so far. It's nice that they're they're having like a dragon level, since uh, you know the game is sort of derived from Spyro, who is a dragon, but uh, like. Like you guys at home watching this and me, as much as I love Spyro and dig him, I've been I've really uh, come to dig a lot of the other Skylanders as well, and I've been playing playing with them almost more than Spyro himself. <laughs> Not that I don't have love for Spyro, but you know some of the characters are pretty darn cool. This guy looks like he has a little shield. I'll wait for him to kind of sink his blade into the ground there and attack him. Oh no, is this is a good dragon? Oh, Ramses. You've awoken me from an evil spell, great Skylander. Thank you. Flavius brought you here, didn't he? <laughs> I should have known. He may not be the brightest fire burning, but he's very loyal. My villainous brother Vathic has seized the dragon throne and all the power in Dragon's Peak. But perhaps you can stop him? I don't have much to give you in return, Great Skylander, but I promise you would have my eternal gratitude. My eternal gratitude. Well, you guys have my eternal gratitude. I'm afraid Vathic's curse has made me far too weak to fly. But Flavius can take you where you need to go. Use the dragon horn to call him. But beware. My brother Vathic will have his evil minions and treacherous traps waiting for you. Go forth, brave Skylander. I must rest for now. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the uh, 
the dragon in uh, Never Ending Story a little bit there with the white, the white mane. Can I go up and do anything to him? Hey, he didn't look like he went to sleep. Just chilling. I guess I can't hurt him. So yes, much like uh, he just said, you have my gratitude for watching my Skylander videos and leaving all those awesome comments. Subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel, CoinOp, youtube.com slash CoinOpTV. If you're watching this video embedded on another website, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and check it out. Oh, I'm, I'm flying here. I didn't realize it. <laughs> ah. Did I die? Alright, so here's... Here's a little problem is I usually use inverted... I usually use inverted Y axis with controlling, and I don't know how to. S I don't know if that's switchable in this game, so it's kind of, it's kind of throwing me off not having that. <laughs> All right. Well, the first time around it didn't count because I didn't even know I was controlling anything. I thought I was, I thought I was in a cutscene. I guess I guess that first time, it looks pretty cool when I go sideways like that. It right, looks like there's a mine over in that cloud there to the left. Yeah, take that, you dumb. Yeah, take mine. that. <laughs> I sure never get sick of this. Who? Right, uh -oh. so where should I go? This that looks like it. It hurts me. How do I avoid that first rock? I don't know if getting these gems even matters too much. There might be some sort of in-game, in-level challenge for that. This actually reminds me of kind of my least favorite levels in in these old platformer games, like flying and dodging levels. Never really a fan of those. Alright, it wasn't that hard once I actually concentrated. First couple of levels, I just kind of, first couple of times, I just kind of pushed buttons, uh, pushing the joystick around. Alright, you, you sitting there with a bomb. Oh, I want to stick with Sunburn for now so I can show him off. These guys are pretty cool with the little bombs. They kind of remind me of Trigger Happy's race. Whatever Trigger Happy is, a little demon guy or something. Let's get some cheese. Get low on health there. Alright, let me pull out the... Uh Kill this, and then I'll pull out the little dragonfly so you can see what Sparks does. Some. Oh no, I lost the charm there. When. Oh no, charms are falling off the edge. Boo! <laughs> I want those. Oh, and I need some money so I get some powers. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. I can walk. Walk on water. Ha! Scroll! Almost missed you. That's interesting. Usually the dragons the dragon have to. Dragon King Ramses has his throne atop a giant rock spike known as Dragon's Peak. This place is special to dragons because whichever one of them controls its very top becomes the new king. Some fear that Vathak, an undead dragon and the king's evil brother, may one day try to steal the throne. Over water like that, but it's cool. I'll take it. All right, let's see if we get another little flying scene here. I will, I will attempt to not get killed four times going through there. This never gets old. Uh -oh. Oh, boy. oh no, mine. Um, oh no! No! Oh, they hid the air mine like right where the gems were. Almost got me. All right, we didn't die. See, look at that, guys. It's not too difficult. All right, let me put uh, let me put the dragonfly sparks on here. So this will be uh, this is one of the things that comes with the Dragon's Peak expansion. And as you can see, his powers 
are depleting during the cutscene, which is a little bit of a drag. So you want to make sure you time the little add-ons before cutscenes. Alright guys, I get it. There's three of you. You're blue. You're gonna attack me. See this? Sparks. Sparks is just firing at things. Doesn't even need my... me to tell him what to do. He's not terribly powerful though. He's just kind of like a little add-on thing. Kill you, butterfly. Alright, well, let's do an air element. I just got Lightning Rod. He is new also. Now, Lightning Rod, I haven't really done anything with him yet. So, his power up abilities. He's not. He's gonna have kind of basic power, so you can see he's level one air element. I got lightning rods. Oh no! I'm trying to show off the lightning rod ability. I didn't mean to go back in. In there. Let's try this again. All right. Go over there and then stay. I see I have to like run out. If I if I hover around in there, I'll, I'll be in trouble. Dun 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 dun. So his um, lightning blasts go like pretty far. I mean, you can see they they actually go past the end of the level. They just kind of keep going forever. And then I have this other little power up thing where I can. Call upon lightning. Oh, that's interesting. The lightning looks like it goes up to like a higher level there. So that seems pretty useful. Okay, let's grab that bomb and explode some some walls. <laughs> I'm exploring and checking things out for you guys. Oh no, don't fall down. So that when you get this game, and after you've watched this video, you you know exactly where to go. <laughs> and yet, I guess I'll take the little dragonfly off. He's run his course. As you can see, I don't know. Those are kind of neat little gimmicks, but they're they're so shortly timed. But they don't seem to like have a terribly great use for them. Where do I need to go? Up here? I guess I need to go from spike to spike platform. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, let's get this. Let's see how how this works. Go, go, go! Right. All right, I freed up this key here. Awesome. Whoa. Hurt you guys. Little statue is just breathing fire. I wonder what that does. Doesn't appear to be on something timed, so that's good. Dun, 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 dun. Well, this part doesn't seem to be too difficult. I just gotta kind of wait for those guys to not blast me with fire, and then I got impatient. And got blasted with fire. <laughs> I have lightning. Should be able to like zap you guys. All right, found some more goodies. A 
Oh, I collected a winged hat, which will increase my speed. Let's put that on. Lightning rod. Oh, wow. That looks kind of befitting of him. Well, I don't know for sure what that platform I walked over did, but we, um... If you guys, if you guys know if it does something different, let me know in the comments, and I'll, uh, when I come back to play this game again, this level again, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, you know, the first time through, I want to try and find some goodies, some hats. I see some watermelon back there. Let's grab that, get a little experience points, even though I'm all leveled up. Alright, let's see how this lightning stuff does. I'm not feeling any faster yet with the hat. Does it seem like I'm going any faster? <laughs> Take out the dudes in the back, the projectiles, because this guy's pretty slow. Let's try some of my lightning. That was pretty powerful. Good powers there. So uh, it's kind of a drag that the gems fall off the edge there. I, I wanna, I'll have to be in a better position to. to grab them a little closer. I like the way a lightning rod just kind of moves around slowly with his hands behind his back. Hovering. Hovering in his own little cloud. Oh no, here we go. I'm flying on, a, on Flavius. Take me to the next level. Oh no, I got hit there. A little difficult to tell where where the hit frames are. Yeah. Here's a one more hit will take me out, but I think I'll survive. I almost feel like going back and editing out the uh, the deaths earlier. <laughs> Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Well, let's see. I happen to have an Earth element here in my hands. Let's swap out Lightning Rod. Oh, wait, this is a Life element. My bad. Zook. All right. Well, here's Zook. He's brand new too. I haven't done anything with Zook, so he's got these missiles he fires. I got this little shield. The shield thing that I could toss up and then walk through. So now you guys have probably seen Evil Zook. Reverse Zook or Mirror Zook, whatever they call him, when, as one of Chaos's minions. So uh, it's interesting now that Wave Four of the figures are out to um, to get to play the actual real Zook. And uh, when I do when I do some more videos, I'll go ahead and level him up some more so you can see some more of his powers. I apologize for having him just at level one here. But, you know, we'll see what he can do. I like that he's got these long-range projectiles. It's interesting that um, Sunburn is kind of like a little more of a close combat character. And uh, Zook and Lightning Rod, you can see, are both ranged players. I think I like the ranged players a little more. I like uh, like Zap's one of my favorite. Skylanders. Oh, no, this doesn't look very friendly. I see a little rotating platform with... 
with thorns or something on one side. Whoa! Alright. I'm gonna time this so that the, uh, the spikes are on the bottom there. Ah! A little difficult to see. Again, if you guys have played this game, you know that you can't move the camera. So you're kind of limited with... There we go. Oh, did I miss it? Kind of limited with the uh, what the game developers will show you. Could have been like a little bit of a sound effect or something to kind of help give you a clue there. Uh, let's see. That's going to take me, fly me to a different area. So let me go over here first and fight some bad dudes. Hey, you guys are just hopping right over here. Alright, take this. Take my tree wall. You want some me too? Here. Get caught in that wall. Oh, I bless you. Oh man, that guy took out a lot of damage there. I'm still getting the hang of this tree wall thing. It's kind of a new thing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Hex. If you guys have played with Hex at all, she kind of makes a little um, wall out of her bones in front of her. And I think as your levels look up further, I think you can make, I think instead of tree branches, they, they turn into like mushrooms or different kind of plants that are more powerful, harder for you to walk through harder for the bad guys to walk through. I have barely any life. I need to get some food. First I'm going to get this chest. Get some money. Some goodies. Alright, I found a treasure chest. Woohoo! Appears to be something back over here. Let's explore and see what we get. Oh no, bad guys. Oh man, this the shield isn't doing much against them. <laughs> so they have little shields of their own. I have to kind of wait for them to attack me. My missiles are actually bouncing off the side there. Alright. One guy left. Shouldn't be too difficult. But the animation is pretty cool of my, my missiles being bounced off there. And it sounds like little firecrackers. Uh, Roman candles or something, bottle rockets. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Do I get on this platform and go this way? I wonder if this is somehow going to take me back to that other platform to fly across. Hmm, this could be one of these no turning back situations. Takes me a while to realize that my Y is not Whoa. inverted. Uh -oh. Air mine coming up. Yeah, it was a little late there on your on your warning there, buddy. Another air mine ahead. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh my gosh, I could fire. I, I didn't realize I could fire while I was in the air. Flavius, tell me these things early on. I was just dodging. Alright, so there you go guys. Fire at the mines. Stronger in this zone. Oh man, Zook is not going to be a a good guy to use against this dude in close combat. Oh. 
That was intense. I had to, like, strategize there, my, my timing. You found a treasure chest. Alright, I guess that means there's another treasure chest, because usually when you get all of them, it'll see. You found all of the treasure chests. Yeah, it's interesting you can't shoot through the fire. Alright, speaking of fire, let's get Sunburn back on here. Because uh, Eon said there's a, a more powerful f as a fire element in this section. Although Sunburn's uh, health is, is a little low, too. What is, what is this tricky nonsense they got going on here? Ah. Oh. That didn't work out. I kind of... I got a little distracted because the way the, the sun was peeking in there kind of messed me up. It's like half sun, half shade. All right, well, I guess we won't see more of Sunburn on this level. Lightning Rod's doing all right, though. I want to go on this little platform here in the middle, see if that does anything. Nothing? Oh, well. <laughs> all right, let me lightning zap you guys there. Doesn't look like my my other lightning attack is powerful enough to go that far back. Alright, let me swap in Zook here and get that cheese. Since his health is ridiculously low. Yeah, see the way that sun is there. A little tricky. Oh no, that's not the way to go. Okay, it seems like I'm safe here. Oh no, there's a gift up there I gotta grab, and a... Uh... So, that old fool Ramses sent you, did he? You've come to take the dragon throne from me, have you? Well, it's mine! Do you hear me? Stay away! Wow. These minions are loyal to the throne. They will punish you for your treachery. A little bit of a boss battle coming up here. Defeat the henchmen. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss on the boots here so you can just kinda see what that looks like. The wing boots. I know this makes me a little faster, I don't know. That's kinda interesting. Kind of sped up, sped things up there. I know it's a pretty limited. There we go. Yeah, it's already gone. So don't get used to the the wing boots. They they only go for a short time. Wow, it's like a bunch of dudes coming after me. Here and put um, lightning rod on. Let's see if I can zap these guys a little more with uh, from the uh, from above. Although I kind of poorly backed myself into a corner. We need we need a little slam bam action here. 
Watch, watch how fast I take care of uh, take care of these dudes. With slam bam. Got combos. You know, like chill things. <laughs> so slam bam's level ten. I got him pretty pretty powerful up here. Let me let me show this thing's cool. I can kind of freeze dudes in place. I just walk around. Do 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 do. That guy's frozen. Freeze him again. Say or just kill him. Minions are such weaklings, but you can't keep defeating them forever. A few more should do the job. Oh no! So Slam Bam comes with the Empire of Ice expansion, which was uh, really fun. I did a video for that as well. I've done videos for all the expansions. Definitely want to check them out. Let me know what your favorite expansion is. Uh, let's see, according to Eon, I should be using a magic element in here. I can slip and slide. Ah, oh, this will probably be the third and final chest over here. There it is, all chests found. Good. And I found a hat earlier and a scroll. I wonder, I wonder if I've gotten every every power up. So you can use the shadow on the floor to uh, to kind of figure out the placement of the... Ah! To figure out the uh, where the spikes are going to be or not. See, this one isn't as crazy because you can sort of peek a little bit. Ah! A little tricky. Might have been going a little too soon there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, that was way, way too soon. <laughs> oh no, and I got hurt because I had the spike on that one way down. Spikes, 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 spikes. Bouncy, bubbly thingy. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Let's see what happens. Ah! Am I just going way too early? Alright, there we go. Oh no! I missed the gift down there. I went to the cutscene. Curses! I'll summon all the minions. You can't possibly beat all of them. <laughs> Is this going to lock me in? Will I be able to go back and get that gift? Ah, oh, boo, I'm locked in. Can't go down and get that gift. Alright, well. You guys can see where it's at, so... Don't jump up here right away. Jump over to the... Uh, those, are, those bomb guys are a little... A little tricky. Uh, I want to try and freeze, freeze the bomb guy. See if it if he explodes. Ah, it's hard to it's hard to freeze guys like up on a hill like this. Get some food. I have the combos for Slam Bam, but um, if there's one gripe I have, or you know, I have a few gripes with Skylanders. As fun as the game is, the button button combos aren't terribly well done. Why are these guys not attacking? They just seem to be hovering around in the background there. Maybe there's a code that says only a certain amount of dudes can attack at once. Chop chop guys. So there's a combo there. I hit AA and then X. That's a level up power. Minions are worthless. I'll do it myself. (laughs) 
Should have grabbed a Spyro or somebody to do like Dragon versus Dragon here. Oh, Flavius, what are you doing sneaking around back there? Ha! I've taken the throne, Bathic, and as you know by Dragon Law, that means you no longer rule Dragon's Peak. You are completely powerless. Oh no! I can't believe I fell for the oldest <laughs> trick in the book. Now you'll pay for betraying Ramses. Wow. Like froze him or something there. I was kind of looking forward to having a fight with the dragon. As ah, Ramses. So good to be home again. Well done, Flavius. Now, sadly, what to do with my own brother? I suppose I will have to banish him. I don't know. He makes a pretty good statue. Perhaps you're right. But I am curious. You could have kept the throne for yourself, and yet you did not. Why? Because, great Ramses, there is only one true king of Dragon's Peak, and it is you. The throne will be yours until the day you decide you are done with it. But when I do, loyal Flavius, I know exactly who will take my place. And of course, I must thank our Skylander friend most of all. Without your bravery and heroism, none of this would have been possible. Flavius will fly you back to the ruins. Farewell, friend. Alright, so it seems like maybe there was two things I missed. That was a couple things. I missed the hat, missed the legendary treasure, and the soul gem, of course. Boo. Um, so when I go back, and I don't know if I'll do another video for when I go back and get those, but um, yeah, it gives you a little idea of what to expect from Dragon's Peak. Uh, brand new in the stores now. I know some of these uh, Skylander things are hard to track down when they first come out, so good luck. And let me know in the comments if you guys get to... Uh, if you guys are playing Skylanders, who you know what what your favorite level is? It doesn't have to be from the expansion. Maybe you have a favorite level just from the game itself, or a favorite character. Guys, for Coin TV, it's Robert Welkner. Thanks a bunch. Make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/CoinOutTV, and uh, we'll see you, Portal Masters, next time.